Um, my name is Jasmine Hill. I'm the owner of Jars by Jazz Cheesecakes. Well, right now we currently specialize in cheese cheesecakes, but we are moving to a food truck. Um, so I'm pretty excited for that. But my business is based out of Dayton, Ohio, and we do travel and we do caterership and everything like that. Awesome. When did you start your business? I started my business back in 2019, technically. Um, I just had to deal with the cult, well, deal with um, the loss of my two grandmothers. Uh, one had passed away a little bit before it was like uh, the day of Thanksgiving, actually. And then I had my son. Then literally like five days after that, another one passed away. So usually, well, I used my cheesecake jars as a way to kind of cope with their passing. Yes. So usually I would use like food, I would bake cheesecakes, but I wasn't like a big, big fan of like the cheesecake texture. And then I remember my great grandma's little uh, meringue recipe. And um, I'm like, let me just fuse those two because the meringue is kind of like a light and airy, yeah. you know, vibe. And then the cheesecake is kind of heavy in texture. So I combined those two and um, and just fast forward to the pandemic, uh, a lot of people just asked me like to make them cheesecake jars because I had just been doing it. And yeah, I just <laughs> yeah, I just kept on. And when I let my mom finally taste them, she was like, girl, you need to be doing this like as a business. So. Yeah, absolutely. So how can your cheesecakes be used for weddings? Are you doing wedding services? And what does that kind of look like? I am definitely open to wedding services. I've done like baby showers and things like that. Yeah. Um, but with the concept of my cheesecake jars and where I'm trying to take jars by jazz, it's just, I want it to be so personable. Yeah. There's the component of the, you know, the mason jar. There's the component of cheesecake. It's like a all American favorite. Yeah. So to bring people like that love and that joy when I see them like hold my cheesecake jars close to them, you have to keep in mind that like at events like that, okay, we go with the favorite, you know? Like when it was my wedding, I'm like, no, I like strawberry cake, I like buttercream, you know, and I ain't going for no whip, and I don't care who, who do or don't like it. Yeah. But um, what I'm trying to bring to weddings is, is that maybe Uncle John might be allergic to chocolate, Auntie Macy might really, really love strawberry. Yeah. And so we have these separate packaged, you know, cheesecakes for everybody that we could kind of compile into one whole cake. And I just love like grace tables. So um, that was something that that is definitely on the list to do for weddings as well. They're super good. I've tried them and I loved them. <laughs> and I think that it is a really great option for weddings because you have so many different flavors and so many different choices and all of your guests can experience what they want. Mm -hmm. And especially with the jar, that's a great way to personalize for weddings. Even just the jar itself gives the bride and groom a lot of options on how they want to present that in the display form. But even with adding a label to the jar or anything like that, yeah. it gives them really great choices so I think it's a really great option for weddings and events yeah um, it's something that I, I do have like on the list to go with that personalization is that you want each and every person of your you know the member of your wedding to feel special and important Absolutely. so I'm considering like sourcing graving jars and just you know cute things like that we have customized bamboo spoons but maybe if we could get it with you know everybody's name on it that'll be really, you know, just special. Yeah, absolutely. So where do you see your business going in the future? In the future, I see it expanding to another food truck. Definitely uh, brick and mortar is on the list. Um, last year in May, we went to the Sweets of Slacks Expo just to kind of get a, a understanding and like um, a, just a feel for like a real expo show. And uh, we were invited, so it's like, okay, you know, let's go ahead. But we put the money up for that. And it was more informational, educational. Um, so I do see more expo shows, uh, definitely one expo shows on yeah, the list. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really, really like just, I don't have a limit for it because it's already, it's like literally layer by layer. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is like unfolding. So yeah. I don't really have like a, a certain like limit. So yeah, brick and mortar, another food truck. Um, 
a lot more flavors, get yeah. my grace tables. What flavors do you offer now? So right now, I have cute names for them. So do you want Yes, to they do. I've okay. seen them and they're very cute. Yeah, okay. feel free, share all of them. So I have Pineapple Upside, and one is a summertime fine version, and that is more like light and uh, like refreshing. Yeah. Another one is my fall version, and that's like the real homemade, like pineapple upside down cake, and it's just real heavy and sweet, and yeah, yeah. It's that comfort, you know, that yeah. we need when it get cold. Um, the other is Blondie, and that actually used to be my nickname because my hair used to be blonde. Yeah. But, um, and Blondie, I don't know, it just always holds a special place, but Blondie is actually made with Blondie brownies, incorporated with banana pudding. Good. So I wanted like all of the components of like, kind of like that crisp and then the cakey. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so that's my banana pudding. Um, I have Hugh Hefner, <laughs> <laughs> that's real velvet. Yeah. Um, but just all of these little things like that I used to really take in as like a child, I kind of incorporated that into jars by jazz. Uh, what else is it? Strawberries galore. Uh, all things strawberry, so that's like a good humor crunch bar. Yeah, you know. I think that's the one I had, and it was so yeah, good. Yeah, yes, yeah. it was so good. I was good. giving you like ice cream truck vibes. Very much you know? so. Yeah, um, and then I have OG strawberries and cream. That was the one that I started out with, and I actually sold that flavor for like ever until I decided to kind of get crazy with it. Yeah. Um, and I just have a lot more. Like there's remixes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Galaxy is uh, cookies and cream, and I'm about to revamp that one, so. Awesome, that's exciting. So how much do those usually go for, and how do you offer them? Are they different sizes, or do you have different options and packages, or how does that work? So I do have different uh, options. So we have the three ounce shooters, which is good for parties and things like that. So usually I could I could get about like four and a half ounces of product in that. I will say those are so cute. That, I saw them on the display. Yes. Those are a great option for like baby showers or brunches or anything like that. They are adorable and they display super well. Yeah, and you get a good bite like yeah, out of that do. little, yeah. And I, I try to pack it in there, but I, I love that for like the They're kids. So oh my gosh, they slash those up so quick. Um, but yeah, so I got the shooters. I got actual like four ounce jars, um, just so people can kind of sample, kind of yeah. get like a flight type of situation. Um, I have eight ounce jars. I had 16 ounce jars and in some cases 32 ounces. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of cheese. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. Uh, for a while I was just doing 16 ounces and yeah. people actually was like, girl. <laughs> I ate that whole jar. <laughs> like, yeah. my bad, sorry. Oh, <laughs> well, that's cool, awesome. And then do you do bundle packs so people can try several things or do you just sell them individually or how does that work? They are direct to consumer. Um, so you can get a bundle package and anything since I'm such a small business, like it's literally me, um, my bundle packages start at 10 and up. Okay. So, you know, you get a good deal, however much more that you do buy. Um, but yeah, my four Four ounce jars, they're only five dollars. Uh, eight ounce jars are um, nine ninety nine, and then the sixteen ounces start at eighteen ninety nine. Okay, awesome. Well, we're really excited to see you grow in your business, and we hope to see you involved more in the wedding industry. Um, do you want to share what your social media handles are so that people can find you online? Yes, yes. So my social media handles are, uh, you can find me on Facebook. That's at Jars by Jazz, and Jazz is J-A-S, like my name. Um, and then, I'm sorry, Facebook is Jars by Jazz 937. Instagram is Jars by Jazz. LinkedIn is just Jasmine Hill. Um, and we're trying to do something with Twitter, but yeah. Twitter's tricky for me yeah, too. We don't have a Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> We haven't messed with that yet. <laughs> We're maybe one day we'll get there, but I have not journeyed into yeah. Twitter very far. Twitter, it gets a little confusing. It's like it's really interesting because you can develop like actual uh, commercials. Yeah, but I don't know. It, I'm still trying to find my ground. Like we just added, um, well, we've actually been approved 
to get like our whole catalog or Instagram. Yeah. So that's, you know, social media is just gonna be social media. Yes, <laughs> it is a complicated way to get things done, but it is the easiest way to reach consumers. And so it's super helpful, but it's so tricky. It's tricky. When you're learning all of the behind the scenes and product tagging and all of that sort of stuff has been interesting for us too, to learn how we figure those things out. Yeah, yeah, um, but, oh yeah, and my, my website is www.jarsbyjazz.com. Um, but it, it has been a journey and it's been um, beautiful and it's still unfolding. I can't wait to just share this journey with people that are in love and just in the moment of things, cause that's just been a huge thing for me. I got married two years ago. Yeah. So um, I would have loved to have like my jars there, but I'm like, I need a break <laughs> a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But um, it's just, it's beautiful. When I see it all come together and how like my concept is, is that people are just able to grab just an individual jar and keep it. You don't see like when you go to festivals or anything like that or any of the festivals that I've been to that, you don't see people just like sit their jar down and leave it. Like people hold yeah. on to it. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, it's a very special thing. Yeah. And it's very personal, I think. For people to be able to keep those, yeah. it is really personal and it feels like it's homemade or the, it's it's special and there was a lot more thought into it than just a plastic container. Yeah, yeah. My grandmothers were very, very big on um, recycling. Yeah. So the glass is something um, I just really wanted to keep the integrity of the brand with the glass. Um, so that's just something that, you know, it's just, it, it has a special place for each, each of us. So. I think it's great. I think the brand is so cute and everything about the brand is cute. The shooters are by far my most favorite thing ever because I saw them and they were adorable. Yeah. And I can just see how at any event, they would really display super well. Yeah. So I'm excited for people to go and check those out and see those and see those as a really great option yeah. for whatever event they're doing. But even a wedding, those are so cute as like favors. It's just wedding favors for people to take and eat because yeah. food as wedding favors, is a great option. It is, it is. I even have like little dome cups as well. Yeah. I forgot to mention those, but I have dome cups. They display beautifully. Yeah. Um, so basically when I do like my baby showers, it's just like we do a consultation and then we'll go from there. Like anything will, I like to de design a layout like yeah. You know, yeah. and be thorough, just so I know that people are getting what they want. So how does the process work? If they decide to like use your product for their event, how does that work? Do they get a hold of you first and then you have a consultation or kind of what does that look like? Yeah, so they'll get a hold of me. It's on my website, jarsbyjazz.com. Um, and then we'll set up like a 15 minute Zoom or phone call. Um, I usually like to do them in person just so I can kind of get an understanding of the person's personality as well. And just so we have everything direct and clear. Um, from there we will put a deposit down just based off of the you know the consumers needs and then um, yeah and we go from that layout I touch base with it, like whatever you want um, I'm trying to put together a catalog so that way I can advertise the different displays that I do have um, just to make it more personable but I want to get uh, like you know those uh, goodness gracious what are they called the printable photos oh, they're yeah. edible though yeah, yeah, yeah. i want to incorporate those i think that'll be oh, a that beautiful be touch so yes yes and just to have them like either layered right in the jars or on top like yeah, yeah. that would be super cute yes I like wedding that. photo yes. yes yes that would be a great idea well thank you so much for coming today we are so glad that we get to hopefully work with you more in the future storybook is so excited to be able to feature I'm you. I'm excited, it's so beautiful here. Yes, so. we do love the space that we got to use today. So we're so glad that you got to come and be a part of this. And we hope that we can see you at a lot of our events coming up this year. We have a full calendar. So we're super excited that we get to add all of these special vendors into what we have coming up. So thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for having me.